So there's a new tool called Measure Point Noise for checking what is the point-to-point -point noise level in a data set. And what the software does, it takes a point, here the red point, and finds all the neighbors within a given 3D search radius. And it fits a plane equation to all the neighbors and the point itself. So the neighboring points are illustrated here as yellow, and the black line illustrates the fitted plane equation in a cross-section view. And one observation is the difference from the red point to the plane fitted to the neighborhood. And I can run this on all the points, or I can run it on points classified as asphalt. So if I want, I can draw polygons around hard surface areas, such as asphalt or similar surfaces, and use only those classes to get, get a value. There is a time tolerance setting in the tool. The purpose is that we can exclude other flight passes. We can say that for each point, the software should only use points within five seconds time difference. And in, in this way, it will not use any of the other light passes to measure the point-to-point -point noise. And then we get a value that tells us about the point-to-point -point noise, even in a data set where we have mismatches between flight passes. If you put a big value into the time tolerance, then, then all flight passes will be used and you get an, more of an overall point noise level. And I'm going to show how this works. So I'm reading in a file written by DJI software. So no TerraScan processing has been done on the data set. And DJI Terra software has done matching of flight passes to each other. And this is what the environment looks like. So we have some hard surfaces. We have a lot of grass-like surface, some trees, some buildings. I'll just classify everything to default. And I will run the measure point noise. So now I'm getting a value from all of the data. I'm not limiting myself to asphalt surface only. And we get a value of 21 millimeters. If I'd be using asphalt surfaces only, then I would get a smaller value. So the value that the software reports is a pretty small value. Uh, simply, the average distance to a fitted plane is a small value. There's other ways of expressing noise level, so we could also talk about spread. And all of this here in this dialogue, the images are illustrating what is the relationship from the point noise value that measure point noise writes out, and what you could this be use be uh, reporting as a measure of spread. So in the three data sets, on asphalt-like surfaces, measure point noise gives me values of about 17 millimeters in the uh, 100 meter altitude data set, about 21 millimeters in the 60 meter data set, and about five millimeter 
in the 15 meter data set. So what is nice, we can see that the point to point noise gets smaller at a low altitude. What is a little surprising is that the DJI data set from a higher altitude has a smaller point to point noise than our data set from 60 meter altitude. And I don't know if it's a matter of the hardware unit or if it's a matter of some other flight parameters. Uh, I have seen that not, not every system is equal. So some systems have a little bit more point to point noise or calibration inaccuracies compared to some other system. And those, as we go uh, further in the development, I, I try to minimize. So I try to build tools that take out everything that can be removed. But my cross-section illustrations here for each data set show a circle where the radius of the circle is roughly three times the value reported by point to point noise. And as a diameter of the circle, it means six times this. So we could say that six times the value reported by measure point noise, that could be a description of the spread in the point cloud. And this was all so that you understand what are the values that measure point noise reports. And of course, the computation does have uh, rules, decisions, exactly how it's done, and, and user settings. And, and so if you want to compare different systems, then you should be using same parameters, the same tool, and, and you can compare measure point noise values with measure point noise values, but you can't necessarily compare these values with a report that another software gives using some other computation principle. 